so gamer kind of theme throwback. Mm -hmm. You were a, you were a gamer. Hardly. <laughs> Didn't you? Okay, you were a Sims. Sims addict. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, ready? Hey everybody, thank you for checking out the video today. We are gonna jump right into the company information and the price because this is a new company to the channel. However, it is a rebrand of a company that we had previously covered. The previous company is known as Epic Beards, is now known as, let me get this right, correct here, 8-Bit Beard Co. 8-Bit Beard Co. And one of the things that they wanted to focus on with their rebrand is just simply having fun. One thing I would encourage you to do is go check out their website. They have on there playable video games. Each one of their descriptions has so much detail and information that we're not going to cover on this video, like information on the video game they're paying respect to, more information on the scent profile, all sorts of stuff, guys. It's a really, really well done website. Go check that one out. This company is out of the state, Ohio. I'm not going to hold that against them being in Michigan, but they're made in the U.S. Their owner's name is Sean, and they've been doing some really cool things with this rebranding. They've got some great stickers and decals going on, the graphics are awesome. I know this is going to strike a lot of you with the nostalgia and kind of flashbacks there, but let's get right into more details. Price, you know I like to rate everybody based on a one, two, or three dollar sign price rating. This one is tough. It's one of those tweeners that's right in between. A one ounce bottle of beard oil on their website goes for $20. That is the start of the three dollar sign price rating, but I am going to give them the top end of a two dollar sign price rating why? Because they offer free U.S. shipping on all orders, and he has different discount codes listed on the website. I don't think that I have one personally, but there is one that right on the homepage, boom, you'll see that one. I believe it's for 15% off. So that all those things considered, this would bring it down, and I would say absolutely within that $2 sign price rating. So we're going to get into the sense with Sam C, and then I'm going to go over the important stuff, the feel and beer. Everything's important. Oh, don't, don't let me diminish Sam C in the sense. Everything's important, but we're going to get into the feel, and then we'll end with if I recommend them for you guys or not. All right, everybody. Welcome, Sam C. Hi. This is a company that we've covered, uh, I think, years ago, literally plural years ago. Oh, and by the way, by the time this video comes out, it will be past the three-year anniversary of this channel. That's crazy. I know, I know. Wow. So we are filming on the 4th of July. We always film the weekend before the review. So we got the 4th of July today. Woo! Happy America. And Happy Wednesday America. is the three-year anniversary of the channel. So nice. Three years, so pretty excited. And this will be the, the video after that. But let's get right into it. We have uh, eight different scents that we're going to go over today. The first one that I want to get to is what I have in Beard right now. Sam kind of rushed me this morning, so I didn't have it all organized <laughs> like always. And that is Duck Hunter. Okay. Did you ever play Duck Hunter? I did, yeah. I did too, yeah. My Duck dad Hunter. had that game when I was really small. Yeah, Duck Hunter was awesome. So yeah, Duck Hunter here. See all the labeling on there? Pretty cool. And this is just simply their unscented. Mm. They're unscented here. So I'm going to give a little shake. It Normally, all of these have Euro droppers in, but I took them out because I didn't like them. Um, and I think it'll help <laughs> us uh, smell there. So What's a um, Euro dropper? I, so an orifice reducer is just like an opening, just like a hole. A Euro dropper has like a little piece that goes down into the oil, and it controls the drops. You just hold it upside down, and it goes like... Oh, okay. And I don't like that. I want hand. Now, I'm efficient. <laughs> You're so impatient. Yes. So... I would hold like this, and then because there's some in the top, and then there's some here, you get like the perfect blend of the mix. All right, so hold them close together, then give them a smell there. So unscented, do you get any kind of smell? Is there natural? Is it truly no fragrance whatsoever? What do you get? I thought maybe I got a little bit of natural, yeah. but then I smelled it again, and I didn't smell anything. So yeah, I get I get a little bit of like natural. The tiniest. Yeah, just a tiny bit. It's not that doesn't smell like water. It's not that true 
completely fragrance free. Uh, it just smells like, yeah, just a little bit of that yeah. naturalness. And again, I have it in beard right now and uh, we are rushed today. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. She's like, can we film ASAP? <laughs> uh, so normally it gets a chance to say it, but I want to make sure I was unscented so I didn't bl I didn't like mess up any of the smells today, oh. which is a good call yeah. uh, right afterwards. So unscented, just a little bit of naturalness <laughs> there. All right, so next one. Shake it up here. Super Smash Bros or the Smash Bros. I feel like I got to show each one of these labels because <laughs> they're so cool. Smash Bros. And this one is Cherry Green Apple. Cherry oh. green apple there. All right, so give it a smell and let us know what you think. And that's all. I'm just going <laughs> to I'm just gonna go by the, des night. the descriptions. We're not going to break down each individual scent profile because most of them are pretty simple. That is so strong. It, huh. it is strong for like an hour or two, and then it fades pretty quickly. I can smell it yeah. from right here. Well, you were like working on the unscented. You know, you were like, yeah. <sighs> that is. Okay, yes, it's exactly <laughs> what it is. It is strong. And I know it what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. Like candy. Oh, I thought you were going to say cough syrup. So smell again. I thought for sure you were going to say cough syrup. Oh my gosh, it does smell like cough syrup. It does. So I. Well, okay, it's cough syrup. Yeah, we got to be. It smells like that artificial cherry. Exactly. It smells like. Chapstick. Exactly. It smells like candy. It's so this, all there. this is that artificial candy scent. It's not fresh cherries. Woo. It's not. Still got it in my nose. Apple peel. It's none of that. It, it is apple peel. You like that? It is. Uh, <laughs> it is candy. Candy. That's not on my favorite end of a spectrum when it comes to like citrus sweet scents. There, a little bit too sweet for me, but yeah. it does fade pretty quickly. Uh, so. Yep, and I do know some people like that. We prefer the fresher side of things. All right, so next one is Tropical Weather with Sonic there. Oh. Were you a Sonic fan? No. Nah, I never really got into Sonic either. All right, Tropical Weather. Sam is a fan of leather and tropical places. I'll open it. Okay, she's got it here. So, let's see what you think of this combination. Oh, interesting. Mm. Quote that. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I get the tropical and I get the leather. Yep. But I almost um, feel like they don't go together. I really haven't found a leather smell that I don't like. But yeah. there's, it's almost like the old, the other one. It's almost like something artificial about the, yeah. like tropical. Yep. Like too sweet almost. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it's it's okay. Yeah, it's it's all right. It's just. Not exactly in my preference or yeah. her preference here. You get the tropical, like it's the coconut, the, what's the other one? Mango, I think's in there a little bit. Yeah, that sunscreen, or yeah. suntan lotion yep. sort of smell. And then there is the leather, so you do get both of yes, those. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's just interesting. It's a, it's an interesting blend there. Um, they kind of, it evolves as the day goes on. Um, it's okay. I don't hate it. I'd wear it again, but I'm not like, oh, I got to get that in beard tomorrow. <laughs> so yeah, it's okay. All right. Next one is the, uh, the Thrilla Gorilla. Thrilla <laughs> Gorilla there. Like the name on that one. Got to show all the artwork. That is pretty awesome. And this one is, and look at like the little bar coat on the side. Normally it's, uh, not, they add like little things in there, but it's just got like that little kind of bar <laughs> there. He's got like a little homage to the the game, you know, where everything's falling down. All right, and this is Oak Barrel Musky Cologne. Oak Barrel Musty Cologne. Okay. Musky, not musty. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> e e that's it's different. Yeah, not musty. Nobody make a musty scent, please. I really like it. I knew you, I knew this it's one was subtle. Be, yep. But it's like especially when you're coming from the other two. Yeah. The other yeah. two are bright pound you early and then it, they mellow out this one kind of sustains all day but at a lower level it definitely has that like um gosh i feel like i don't want to say the wrong word musty mus mus <laughs> musky musky <laughs> yeah it's definitely musky manly and it's manly oh, and it's like ay, ay, ay. and it's a cologne scent for sure i like it it's yeah. like uh like if you're gonna wear cologne while you were like I don't want to say hiking because that sounds like, where's a cologne? <laughs> I didn't know there? where you were going with this. I don't know. Like if you were taking me on a date, like 
to like a romantic dinner in like the woods or something. Okay. I don't All right. Know. Sounds All right. like you're gonna murder. No, I like it too. <laughs> yep, it's a good cologne scent. It's a pretty unique one too. You I, don't yeah, see this like one. It. it doesn't come across often. All right. Part of my mustache hairs. All right. Next one is Dreamland Kirby. Did I? I introduced you to Kirby. Remember, I was bringing up the idea. I was like, Kirby, and you were like, huh? Like the vacuum? I was like, well, he is like a vacuum. He sucks things in. Remember me telling you about that game? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't know what it was. I knew, oh, I think I, kn I knew what Kirby was, but I didn't know like what it was about. Okay. All I right. I still don't. And I do have to point out, all of these characters have different individualized beards on them. Little 8-bit beards. Oh, my gosh. So if you check on there, yeah, they all have pretty cool looking beards. Kirby's my favorite. <laughs> so I like the little touches they did on the branding and the, the labeling. This Kirby's a good one. This one is Fruity Stripe Bubblegum. Oh. So did you ever have, in that? hence yes. the beard, Fruit yes, Stripe? Yes, that smelled yes. like the zebra, right? Yeah. yeah. And the tattoos. They, you chew it three times and then there's no Just flavor. gone. <laughs> and then it's like impossible to choose. It's like. <laughs> it like falls apart. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, Ooh. yeah. All right, so what do you got with uh, Fruit Stripe oh Bubblegum? Oh, my goodness. That is an, how do these sweet ones get so strong? It, they just come out swinging. It's, yeah, it smells like bubblegum. Yep. 100%. And I hate the smell of bubblegum. You do? <laughs> oh, man, I hate bubblegum so much. Like, I didn't know that. If you could give me the worst kind of toothpaste flavor at the dentist, it's bubblegum. Oh, Ooh. hate, hate. So, no. Not a fan of this one, but <laughs> nailed it. Nailed it on the yeah. set. Yep, yeah. it is It is true. Do you like it? Is that something you'd want me to wear? No. Okay. <laughs> That's what I thought there. All right, next one is the second banana. Second banana here. Now, are you a fan of banana splits? <laughs> <laughs> banana splits. <laughs> yeah, you Don't say. get me started. Sam's got an ice cream problem. To the point, we went out to the park yesterday, and afterwards, I was like, in my head, the whole time, I was like, how long is it going to take for her to ask for ice cream? How Bing! Got it. And did we get ice cream? Yes, we, we did. We did, we did, we did. We went and got uh, uh, A&W Root Beer Floats, yeah. which in our head was just down the road, but it ended up being <laughs> pretty like day. It was like 15 miles. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty far <laughs> away. So worth it, though. All right, this one is Banana Split Sunday. It is? It is. Oh, it man. is. Banana Split sp Sunday. All right, so let's see how it lives up. Oh my gosh, it is. It is straight up a banana oh. split Sunday. I I don't think I would want you to wear no, it. No, I don't want to wear I'd be it either. Like wanting ice cream even more so than I mm -hmm. normally do. It is a banana split Sunday in here. And there's I was when in live streams recently where people talk about these. There's guys that love this. <laughs> so there's all different preferences out there. Our job is to explain these to mm -hmm. you so you can figure it out. We are pretty much unanimously not food-scented, candy-scented, yeah. pop-scented yeah. fans. Uh, so we know that there's many of you that are out there. If you want to smell like a banana split sundae, straight up right here. Like, yeah. killed it. Killed it. So, yeah, that's one. That's one. And I'd be curious, and I wonder if 8-Bit will comment, because they, they make, like, pre-mixed fragrances, you know, you can mm -hmm. buy, like, Banana Split offline. I wonder if he blended it with different fragrance oils and essential oils, or if it's just a singular fragrance. Oh, yeah, like if it's a homemade Banana Split. Correct. I'd be curious <laughs> on that one. If you, Sean, if you could let us know. All right, the next one here is The Spirit Maiden. Okay. All right, what game is that? Is that Zelda? Maybe. Oh no, they're gonna. This is one of those ones where we get destroyed we're in the not chat. Gamers. All right, we're yeah, we're not. So what is this one? Is this one <laughs> Zelda? Like would know. Oh, for sure he would know. <laughs> so this is sweet amber, cedar, and sage. Okay. Sweet amber, cedar, and sage. I don't get any hints out of those names. I thought maybe it'd be like Princess Peach. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, that's a that's good idea. Really good. My idea. Yeah. I know. Thank you. 8-Bit, that is your next one, Princess Peach, and you make a peach blend. Okay. It's almost like cologne -y. Yeah. Yep. Especially when you get all those ingredients in there. It's interesting that it's a, a fe not to be sexist, but, like, it's a female on there, but it's a very, like, manly It is manly, yep. Scent. Yeah, I would have thought something more floral or yeah. soft and stuff. Um, it's very subtle. Yes. I only could get just so wild that the cologne yeah. scents are the subtle ones, right, the citrus right, right. ones are the bam ones. Um 
I could only get it like at the end of my smell is like yeah at the end of my your palate sniff. <laughs> yeah your palate I like it though it's like I don't even know how to describe it I don't either that's why I have you here oh gosh it's all on me yeah it is a cologne let me smell it again there's some sweetness to it yeah I don't know it's just like your basic basic good cologne yeah it's not abrasive it's not that like tickle your nostrils yeah. one it's just yeah just I a well balanced where you don't get the individual yeah, scents as that's much that's one like you could wear every day to work and mm -hmm. it's not gonna be like overpowering yeah you're not gonna be known for it in the teacher's lounge yeah. you know yeah. so that's good all right next one is hero of time hero okay. of time using the 8-bit logo on there i did not save that for last on purpose but hey that works amber <laughs> Oak and bergamot. I think he likes amber and oak. Okay. We've seen it several times. And bergamot is my favorite citrus. All right. Do the honors, babe. Hmm. This smells a little bit like a craft store. Okay. What kind? Like a Michael's, Joann's yeah. type place? Yeah. But there's no... Um, it does. What is that that what makes is it... That? that? What is the smell in there that makes it smell like Joann's? Oh my gosh, it does. It's like, kind of got a like potpourri type smell yeah. to it. I wonder, is bergamot no. in potpourri? I... Yes. See, when I it smell that... It smells like potpourri. There's some, something spicy in there. Bergamot is a beautiful lemon, lime, sweet-esque... Oh. No, it's a citrus. So that's what mm. we smell in here. There's something spicy in this. Yeah, like and it almost smells clove. It type. does. It does smell like there's some clove in there. Or some like allspice or franken uh, frankincense, something yeah. in there. Yeah, not a fan. Mm -hmm. uh, this is actually my least favorite out of the bunch. If I had to get rid of one for the rest of my life, it would be this over one. Bubblegum? Yep, I would wear bubblegum over this one. In, in, a, in a heartbeat, and I really dislike the bubblegum <laughs> one, too. Uh, but there are some spicy fans out there. There are some fans that love that family. Let us know, Sean, in the, in the description here. Uh, I know Oak can kind of give off that that type of spiciness. Old Money from Beard Brand is an Oak-based one. Mm. Uh, amber has, like, a wide spectrum of what Amber can smell like. So there's so many different versions of Amber. Just like there's so many different versions of Cedar and all these scents out there, depending on where you get it sourced from. Uh, so, yeah, this one's a big, big no for me. <laughs> for me, if I had to keep one, and, and I, I love this brand. I'm going to talk about the feel and beard. I'm going to break all that down. This company just doesn't hit on mine and our personal preferences yeah. a lot. There's so many other types of scents that we really love, but they're being unique. So many of these we've never seen before. So I now, get the this strategy. Like, this is their main line or is this yeah. like a special edition? No, nope, this, okay. is, this is it. This gotcha. is their launch. Okay. And a couple of these are brand new, just came out within the last week. I've oh. had them for a couple months now, uh, but just came out within the last week. All right, so let me pull out what I believe is our favorites. So we would go, the two that we would roll with is that one. All right, and then, so we'll, we'll recap the favorites here. I should have kept it separate. Where is it at? What are you Where's looking for? the other one? The cologne one is the girl one. Okay, there it is. So yes, <laughs> so we got the one that we just went over that we were trying to describe yeah. and is subtle. My favorite, though, would be the, the Thrilla Gorilla. I agree. The Oak barrel musty cologne i agree that would be my favorite but i would love to see something in the fresh mint sector tea tree <laughs> i would love to see something in like an actual fresh citrus scent yeah, definitely. i would love a floral man i would and when floral scents come out people go crazy over that Do they, they really? absolutely go crazy so i'd love to see something in floral uh, just, just a thought when you're trying to cover all the market, you yeah. know, you kind of want to have some of those because there's a couple similar ones where yeah, it's the like, real sweet ones. yeah, the real sweet mm -hmm. ones are very similar over there. Okay. Sam C any plans for the, the 4th of July for America's day? <laughs> uh, I'm going to do some yard work. Mm-hmm. Get it. And we'll probably go swimming. Mm-hmm. We just have out. a little like pop-up pool pop type up. thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> grill out. Grill yep. out. Blackstone griddle grill. And I got some fireworks. 
fireworks. Little, little ones. Even though Dan doesn't like fireworks. I don't like fireworks at night. I don't like when, when babies are sleeping. I, I know dog owners, a lot of them, their dogs go crazy. Okay, but also, I feel like your main hatred of fireworks mm -hmm. is because they're so expensive. Probably. <laughs> this, I hate spending money, and those are stupid. They're gone like that yep. in a flash. Mm -hmm. Literally. <laughs> All right. Well, happy anniversary of the channel. Happy anniversary of America, and <laughs> thank you, Samsy. You're welcome. Feel in beard. Now, you know how they smell, but the most important aspect for me is how is it making my beard feel, look, all that stuff. Let's take a look at the oil first. I think I have the unscented one here somewhere. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> the feel in beard. First ingredient is Babassu oil. Now, there are several ways to pronounce that. I've heard other people say it other ways, but I like Babassu oil here. Uh, castor, absinian oil, golden jojoba oil, hemp seed oil, avocado oil, uh, cucumber seed oil, and then a mix of fragrance and essential oils if it's not the unscented. This is a medium viscosity. I want to say yeah, maybe even a sliver above if it was a 1 to 10 scale. I would give this one a 6 on the terms of viscosity. And as far as feel, style, all that fantastic he crushed it with this blend i have it in beard right now as i mentioned the unscented this is just about probably two hours after getting ready this morning but obviously i've worn it over the last several weeks it sustains through the day my beard feels nourished my beard feels light i absolutely love this blend it's pretty light on the fragrance side or the smell side so it allows the fragrance blends that they create to carry through and you're not like masking or covering up some really exotic really nutty uh really spicy carriers it's pretty bland which is good for those of you that appreciate those fragrances all right let's take a look now at the uh the butter here and again uh, i am a butter fan i wear it every night I have been rolling with the unscented butter for the duration. I also have the tropical leather. Uh, just as I said, this is not a scent that I would want to wear to bed, so I haven't even used this one. But I do have the unscented that I've been using the heck out of. One quick thing is this was melted when I received it. I just simply threw it in the fridge right away. It came back and solidified. Absolutely no grit, no problems whatsoever. I didn't have to do my trick of heating it up and then cooling again. It cooled and solidified again perfectly. This is a really kind of, it feels like a solid butter. Let me see if I can get some out here, show you guys, kind of move it around a little bit. It feels like a solid butter, but once you get it in hand, it melts so quickly and so smoothly. I am digging the heck out of this unscented butter. Again, I've said this a million times, but it is a priority for me, and I know I'm not alone because I get so many messages and comments. We're like, yeah, you're right. I want a butter to be nourishing. I want a butter to be smooth. I want it to melt down easily when I'm tired, when I'm lazy at night, and I, it's like, man, do I need to do a night routine? I got all comfortable. Yes. Now, let me get that butter in hand. Just melt down, let me get it in beard. Now let's go to bed. Let it absorb a little bit first. You don't wanna hit your head on the pillow right away. But that's so important to me. Once again, knocked it out of the park. Let's go over the ingredients here. Shea butter, which is the most common butter because it's the best butter in my opinion. It is a freak of nature. Now you got some decisions as a company. You're going unrefined, you're going refined, are you going odorless? Uh, what are you gonna go with for the, the actual butter itself? But this is a wonderful ingredient. We have mango butter and then we have that carrier oil blend that is in there. Absolutely crushed it. Again, scents, we're always honest, not really in our wheelhouse. Feel and beard, I cannot see anyone disliking this feel and beard. Smashed it. Very conclusion, I like to let you guys know if I recommend this company or not, and I absolutely do. I'm very excited to see the future of this company. I love seeing where they're going, the changes they've made. The next step for me is finding some scent profiles that I'm addicted to, that I love. They just don't exist for them yet. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be rocking the heck out of the unscented oil and butter. And I know he's got some stuff probably in the works that's gonna be in my wheelhouse. Cannot wait to try those out. I don't even know if they exist. I'm just <laughs> assuming there. But yes, there is a, it's on the tad bit of the pricey side, but once you have all things considered, very fair. I know that the labeling is going to resonate with a lot of you. Great ownership, American, Ohio made. Checks all the boxes for so many things that you guys are looking for out there. Question, I know a lot of you have tried this because I've seen comments in live streams, but some of my viewers don't get to see those streams or get to see those comments. Please, if you have tried 8-Bit Beard Co., 
leave your thoughts down below. Leave your experiences, the good, the bad, the other. Maybe you love the sense and Sam and I are crazy for our preferences. People want to see a well-rounded viewpoint. The more opinions we get, the better. And I really mean that. Thank you guys for watching today. I hope everyone had a safe and awesome 4th of July last weekend and have a great weekend this weekend. Or if you're watching in the future, whatever day it is, I hope it's a great one. Dan, stay bearded, stay bearded, and stay positive.